Hello and welcome back to the Be The Hero channel. In this video, I'm gonna explain everything that you need to know about having your moon in the sign of cancer in less than five minutes. Hello, my name is Isabel and I help you understand who you are using personality typing and astrology. Now, before I dive into the moon and cancer, or as I like to call them, the sensitive sweetheart, hit the link in the description below to get your very own My Horoscope Made Me Do It hoodie. Available now, link is in the description. The moon and cancer is quite possibly one of the most powerful uh, placements we can have in our chart because the moon is in its home sign. Now, before I dive into moon and cancer, what is the moon? The moon is simply our emotional patterns and what we need for emotional fulfillment. It's also the part of us that people only see if they are close to us, as it's our emotions, it's a sensitive soft side of us either way, and so we have to feel safe with the person to see this side of them. So with the moon in Cancer, you are called, as I like to call it, the sensitive sweetheart. And I have this placement, so I understand it very well. The most prominent trait of people who have a moon in the sign of cancer is that they need a lot of nurturing for emotional fulfillment. These are the stereotypical people who are over givers and have so much love to share with the entire world. In childhood, they can be little rays of sunshine that just want to hug everyone and give gifts and be kind. With the moon in the sign of cancer in our birth chart, we are looking for a lot of emotional resonance in life. We need a strong feeling of emotional security. So people who have a moon in cancer are already highly in touch with what they feel to the point that they might get a little too wrapped up in what they feel and they can have a hard time navigating their negative emotions because when they feel negative, they can only feel that, oh, I'm not supposed to feel like this. I feel ashamed and sad and I just want to get out of it. At the same time, the moon in Cancer is highly nostalgic and can find themselves reminiscing over the good old days of childhood and feeling that somewhat melancholy sadness feeling often. Because they look for emotional security and familiarity in all they do, people with a moon in Cancer may struggle to let go, whether that is of nostalgic childhood uh, memories and objects or if it's people. So people with a moon in Cancer can have a hard time letting go of toxic people in their lives and they can find themselves overgiving to people they shouldn't. When you get close to a moon in Cancer, these are going to be the most caring lovers and friends that you can ever imagine. They never fall short on their physical affection and they will always make sure to give you unexpected gifts and everything that you could possibly need. They can offer a listening ear if you just ask them. They want to be there for you and they hope that you can be there for them too. Just know that when the moon sign is in the sign of cancer, it's in a water sign. And so these people are very in touch with their emotions to the point that they might have a lot of mood swings. This is especially true for the moon when it's in its home sign of cancer. So put up with these mood swings and try to navigate them well if you are a moon in cancer. There you have it. That's everything you need to know about having a cancer moon. Leave a comment below if it resonated with you. And while you're down there, grab the free birth chart workbook where I walk you through how to understand your moon sign using journal prompts. If you want to learn more about the cancer moon, check out our playlist on the moon sign on our channel where I break down everything you need to know about the cancer moon. It is titled the biggest struggle for cancer moons. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, my name is Isabel, and from my heart to yours, namaste.